Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM 1019 welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. Alright, so when we last left off, Guybrush got himself in a bit of a struggle here. Looks like this snake swallowed a bunch of other stuff. Let's go, uh, picking up, uh, what else is in here? Vacuum cleaner attachments? Lots of stuff, okay. Alright, let's see. Oh wow, got a ton of stuff in there. Vacuum cleaner attachments, old phone books, an encyclopedia, a stuffed dinghy dog, a reservation slip. Oh, that can come in handy. Pancakes, sausage, and eggs, and coffee. Naturalist remains. That's syrup, though. All right, so one thing we learned about this Ipecac flower is that, whoop, people used to use this as a purgative. So if we make an... It makes syrup of Ipecac. That seems logical. That syrup of Ipecac sounds helpful right about now. Oop. There you go, buddy. Whew. That sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No? Hey! Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. <laughs> Since Guybrush puts everything in his pants. Alright, well, we lost a bunch of stuff, but we still got a bunch of useful things here. So let's see what we can find. There's a plaque and a thorny plant here. Ouch! Well, I got the thorn. Hope that was worth it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll grab a reed. Let's see, if we use this hollow reed with this thorn. A world glass pea shooter. An old pea shooter. Okay. Let's tie these balloons to this rock. And blow. Perfect. For once today, things are going. Well, darn. Hey. <laughs> Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. All right, well, let's knock this thing out before it uh, before it has changes its mind. Huzzah! All right, we're safe. Okay, so there's a ship here. We can't really get to it because there's a big hole in this boat. But, uh, let's keep moving along here. Back to Puerto Palo we go. Walk through speaker. Uh, hello? <laughs> I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. <laughs> okay. Let's go back in here, now that we've got a reservation slip. <clears throat> Do you have a reservation? Of course. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian Stoop. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Captain Blondebeard. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! Ha <laughs> ha! Golden nuggets of chicken! Oh. <laughs> a treasure trove of deep fried fun! <laughs> Now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring you for lunch? Uh... I'll try the wishbone sandwich with sweet gherkins. We're out of that, I'm afraid. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. 
But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. <laughs> okay. Um. Business must be good if you're sold out of chicken. Sold out? I never said nothing about being sold out. Then what happened to all your chicken? Ah, tis a story steeped in terror. Marinated in mayhem, there be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be, and he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken! The Devil Chicken. He hates me most of all, and his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild, to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it, but I know he's not through. <coughs> Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this, I'll be ready for him. And a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Okay, so there's a legend of El Pollo Diablo <laughs> on this island that apparently came by and took all of uh, Blondebeard's chicken. Um, How long have you been out of chickens? Weeks, months maybe. And it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can dine this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now, I got me a craving for me palate pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. Me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. There'd be nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan fried jewels. Isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. Okay, so we want something crunchy or something hard that we can I'll give him. I'll let you him. get back to work. Aye. I think we have just the thing. I give you this jawbreaker. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth. But it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. That sounds a lot like... Gum. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Mmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Do I have... I do. Okay. Take this pin. Hey, is gold tooth... the bubble back in before I could get to it. Keep an eye on that again. There's gold tooth in there. Why, you little scamp. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you played on old Cap'n Blondebeard. Alright. He doesn't notice his tooth is missing, so let's pick it up. <clears throat> let's see if I remember this trick. So, we take his tooth, because he's not going to let us leave without it. The gum it. is too hard. Okay, i got to chew a pack of gum first. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. Okay, now that I've got that chewed, I can The gold tooth it. is in the gum. And can I... I think I can inhale some of this helium. Oh, that's made my voice sound funny. <laughs> okay. Um... There we go. And there it goes. He's none the wiser. Okay. That tooth cool. is out of here. Let's see, I'm gonna need this pie pan. Oh, and this biscuit cutter. Beautiful. 
Uh, he mentioned that these biscuits are free, so let's grab one of these. Let's take a bite into it. Whoa! This biscuit is full of maggots! Ugh. Aye! <laughs> That's my special ingredient! That's just the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. Getting the feeling you don't have a lot of customers. Ugh. Now we got maggots in our inventory. Though, I hear the chicken's pretty bad, too, but maggots don't really tend to care about that. So... Jeez. I'd say that worked. There they, there they go. They crawled back into the biscuits. Club card. Ooh. That'll come in handy. Hello, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Now that's just rude. Hey, you're ignoring hey, me. Mister. mister, you listening? Ah! It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye. I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world <laughs> of the living. Aye. And he complained about me checking. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Captain Blondebeard stabbed him in the back because he complained about his chicken. I'm going to take this butter knife. <coughs> uh, can I look at this button? It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. Oh, that's why the skull, the skull looks like that. <laughs> Grim Fandango. <laughs> I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. Oh, that's a great joke. I never got that as a kid. Ah, that's wonderful. All right, out we go. Wait one second. Yes. Do you have me gold tooth? No. Uh, no. Let me see. <laughs> you don't have it. Darn, I'll have to order a new one. I wonder where that tooth fell. Sounds like it fell into here. So I think I can use this pie tin with the mud puddle. And there's the tooth. It's the gold tooth. Wonderful. Okay. So. That's uh, one thing down. Let's uh, go back into the barber shop. And how's it going, Cutthroat Bill? Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So, you'll join my crew? Sure. As long as my partners will join, too. I'll need two more sailors for my crew. Alright. That's one third of the puzzle. Let's check in here again. Okay, I'm still missing some stuff that I need, but... Let's figure out what's going on in here. To swab or not to swab? No, no, that's not right. Ahoy! Ahoy! What's th what's that putrid, stench-ridden drivel that you're rehearsing? But this, this is the master work of the bard. Do you really think it's that bad? Uh, was the Great Pyramid of Cheops originally 481 feet high? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered the material. How could I have taken up my wretched pen and stabbed it bodkin-like through the unsullied poetry? Oh, shoot. It. Yet the master... You rewrote Shakespeare? I was compelled to. Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. Sorry about that. Oh, these stupid, brutish pirates! Not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner natures. So, I rewrote the whole folio, contracted the brilliance of decades into a 45-minute review. Spear. A theatrical medley. Uh, that does not sound good. Why can't you go back to the original scripts? Oh, the sweet, sweet, bitter <coughs> irony of it all. Now that you have confirmed that I have produced a work of unredeemable trash, 
I'm more or less guaranteed to have a financial success in my hands. Why do I find that strangely encouraging? Okay, well, I'm gonna Carry leave on. you. Come on, Slappy. You've got to get this right. All right, let's see. Ooh, magic wand. Let's take that. Watch me make this disappear. Of course, a magic wand usually only goes with its magic hat. Nothing up my sleeve? Presto! Hey, it worked. There's something inside. All right, there's a book here. That is a book. The A, V, C's of ventriloquism. That might come in handy. All right, let's leave for now. All right, let's leave town. Oh, this is how we get to the challenge hill. Okay, so. Let's prepare the caber toss. Let's use this on the... Oh, I need to go to the grassy knoll first. Okay. Use the butter knife on this sawhorse. So you might be wondering to yourself why we did that. Well, if we come over this way, this appears to be a rubber tree, and this one's another rubber tree. Speaking of which... Can I do that? I only need one plug. Okay, well... Alright, so... That looks an awful lot like a combustible line. Let's use the fire em ember on this trail of rum here. Whoa, my head is spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. Okay, the stage has been set there. Let's go back in here. I just realized there's something I missed. Uh, let's look, examine the pocket of this it coat. It looks like there's something inside the pocket of this coat. Open it. There's a glove in here. Hey, there we go. All right, got a glove. Okay, so. Go back into the Barbary Coast. Uh, you sure don't want to join my crew? join my crew? It, as I told you, Guybrush, not until you can best me in the <clears throat> caber toss. All right, uh, let's do it. Sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, I win! By the spiraling bouffant to be great Uncle McManus! Never before have I seen such strength. Sure, I'll join your crew. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. And he was none the wiser. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. Okay, so let's talk to the dapper pirate. Hello, sir. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen. Not the... That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helg. <laughs> Dude! How'd you like to join my crew? You went from oh, pirating whoops. to hairstyling. Why? The music of the sea is something that takes hold of your soul and never lets go. But the life of a sailor is a rough one, and the sea shows no mercy. It was no easy choice to leave. But I realized that I could still enjoy the music of the sea while remaining safely on land. <laughs> how? Uh, how? By starting a barbershop quartet, obviously. Obviously, but there are only three of you. Auditions didn't go as well as we'd hoped. We once had a tenor named Dominique, but he left. Artistic differences. <laughs> <laughs> um... Can I, I could the be fourth? the fourth in your barbershop quartet. Uh, no, no, uh, that's okay. I was wrong. We don't need one after all. Oh, come on. I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. Uh, shoot. Okay. Um. Uh... 
<laughs> For those cold dark shipboard nights, we've got boxers, briefs, and tights made from cotton, silk, or satin in styles Anglo, Dutch, and Latin. When you sail, don't take a chance wearing nothing neath your pants. Trust Silver's Long Johns. They breathe. Oh, my dear, sweet, merciful savior in heaven. Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now, before man and God, that you will never, ever again sing in public. <laughs> so, what are you telling me exactly? Uh, okay, well, um, join my crew? How would you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Um... Gentlemen? That's me all over. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. But... All right, let's get to dueling. No, no, no. There are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. A sufficient gentleman's insult, huh? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. That's an old one. Come back when you have some fresher material, eh? Okay. Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually roll around in dung or just dab a little behind each ear? That's not the type of insult I had in mind. <laughs> Hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? Oh, please. Not doing it for you, huh? I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. A sufficient genuinely gentlemanly insult, you say. Well, I have a white glove. <laughs> now there's a challenge. To the field of honor. Oh, uh, that's, that's a shame. So, normally, I'm used to hitting him with the glove without asking him about the duel, and he'll just go, I say, sir, you have some nerve to challenge me, and he, and I think Guybrush retorts with, yeah, you were asking for it or something. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so he says to choose our weapon. Our weapon. Uh, we're not going to win a pistol duel, so let's close this box and choose the banjo. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do? All right. This is gonna take this is gonna take some focus. All right, let's see. Two. Three. One. Three. Two. Three. One. 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 Two. One. Three. One, one, two, one. Four. One. Three. Four. Five. Two. Four. One. Three. Four. Five. You're pretty good, boy. All right. Let's see you follow this. He's good. I always. Beat him. I always love this scene. <laughs> Just listen to that banjo. <laughs> well, now he's just showing off. Let's put a stop to that. Hey, Edward. Oh, wait. Wait. No, no, no. Shoot. Nope. Pick that back up. All right. I'm putting an end to your show off. What? You 
shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. <laughs> I always love well, that scene. I got my whole crew. Okay, I've got a crew, but need a ship. Meanwhile, a barrel of grog and a chicken. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey, those are nice boots. <laughs> but they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that certainly didn't last long. Okay. So, we've got more stuff to do. Let's head over to the cabana. Yes, may I help you? Uh, sure. My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Threepwood? You must be seersucker Skip Rackham's cousin. How are Muffy and the twins? Uh, who? Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the South Beach and a swabber size class at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Why? You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgie, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. Uh, really? Hi. Yes? Uh... Let me have some of that cooking oil. That oil is only for French frying. It stays right here. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm French. Toss that baby right over here. You don't sound French, and you don't look French. And you don't know how much you're getting on my nerves. Okay, let's stop messing with the guy. Oh, wait a minute. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then, there's the credit check, references, family history, the oral presentation, and the written test. Mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball you. Hmm, what if I just washed up what a bit? What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other members. I'm sure you understand. Hmm. That sounds hard. Uh... Onion ring emergency. Give me all the oil you've got. Sorry. As long as I'm in charge here, you'll get no handouts. <laughs> Please pass the cooking oil. No can do. I'm not authorized to hand out cooking supplies to anyone. <clears throat> hand me a towel, young man. Those towels are for club members only. All right. I'll stop messing with the guy. Um, Gotta be going. Fortunately, we have happened to pick up a Brimstone Club card. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. 
Let me see that. Oh no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership! Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! Ah, I must. Uh, perhaps I'll tell you my life story. Eh. Wait a minute. I always tell him I must and perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Maybe I'll say something else this time. Quiet! The voices in my head are telling me something. Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Hmm. You don't say. Well, I'm going to take some of these. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. Okay. We got three towels. Let's dip them in this ice bucket. The towels are all wet now. Okay, so I need to get this cooking oil, but I need to get this cabana boy out of here. Fortunately... Ouch! <laughs> okay, see ya. And yoink. <coughs> Okay. E Ouch. With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. Ah, uh, fear not, Guybrush. We have towels. Oh, whoops. we go. Boy, that sand is hot. Hello, sir. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido. Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. Someone on this island with some manners. And my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. Uh... I don't think you understand. I'm a mighty pirate. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the magic word. Take this drink away and bring me another. Now! I don't work here. <laughs> I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. Uh... Are you sure you don't know how to get to Blood Island? I told you before, babe. I've never heard of Blood Island. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since May. <laughs> I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe, I'm not the tannest cat around, but as you can see, I'm working on it. <laughs> Would you like to join my crew? Oh, no, babe, I'm not a sailor. I make my living off the hard work and talent of others. You're a project leader on a computer game? <laughs> no, no. I'm a high-powered talent agent. Major stars. We're talking major stars here. Are you sure you won't join my crew? <laughs> Don't talk to me about work, babe. I'm tanning. Okay. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. My complexion is a little on the light side. I'll give you that. But soon I'll be a bronze god. <laughs> You've got the savage pail. Please, babe. If you say any more, I will become very self-conscious. <laughs> hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish. Okay, babe? <laughs> okay. Um. Are you sure you don't know how to get to Blood Island? I told you before, babe. I've never heard of Blood Island. Okay, well... Um, so he's a director, and he's expecting us to refill his drink. Well, maybe we can just take his mug. Cool. 
All right, let's open this gate and leave. <clears throat> All right, back to Port Apollo. All right, let's talk to the little smile pirate here. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy. My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell. Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. Cool, I'd like to buy some lemonade. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure, we have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. Oh. Hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. Hmm. Good thing we have a whole bag of those. Maybe if we can screw them a little bit. <laughs> that chime. Okay. Let's see if we can swap his mug Look, here. a three-headed monkey! Oh boy, oh boy! Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. And he's none the wiser. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheap. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Oh, nothing makes me happier, Kenny. All right. So now that he's gone, let's grab his pitcher, since it's empty. And use it with the dive vat here. It's full of dye now. All right. So there's still something missing. Oh, actually, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll finish this part first. Okay, back to the Brimstone Beach. Take this bottomless mug. <clears throat> I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. Okay. With the bottomless mug. Here's your drink, sir. Pretty sure he's supposed to tell us before about his back. Look, Palido, you're burning. Ah, all those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. Shoot, all right, so there's the map. I just realized I could have tried to pour the, whoops. I could have, oh, did I lose the, there we go. Sorry, I keep bumping this uh, audio adapter. I could have uh, tried to pour the cooking oil on his top and be like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> But, speaking of which, since this is the only place I can get a map... Cover your eyes if you have uh, particularly weak constitutions, folks. And we'll take this. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Yeah, neither did I. All right. <clears throat> Meanwhile. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh oh. Quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. Avast there, you lovers! Set sail from. 
my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It'll be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffering sailors, tis good to be dead. <laughs> All right, Ch LeChuck has now become the uh, demon pi pirate LeChuck, which uh, is bad for us. Okay, so, uh, we got a map, we got a crew, we need to acquire a ship, though. But there's something missing, and I have to go searching for it. Not quite ready to go acquire that ship yet. I think... Nope. Go up here. Oh, that's right, it I gotta do that. It smells like something's burning. Mm, must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. <laughs> Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. Seven I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. 17th century electrical wiring. <laughs> Alright, no, I don't need to be here. Um, I think I need some glue. But where is it? Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have to go keep looking. Hmm. Wasn't in here. Nope. Go over here. Oh, um, nope, that's the other way. I gotta go this way. Okay, so... I don't think I saw any in the swamp. I can't go into the fort. Let me make sure. Was there any in the swamp? Toy scissors. No. Okay, nope. Not in here. Yeah, and I don't have it. Okay. Okay, I got a rubber plug, but... That plug's not gonna be... In I'm pretty sure that plug's not gonna be enough. If I go to Danger Cove... Try to use this rubber plug with this hole. Wow, for a homemade rubber plug, that worked very nicely. Yeah. It won't stay in there. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I'm gonna need some glue. Um, gotta find it. I don't quite remember where it is. Hmm, Danger Cove. It's gotta be somewhere in Porto Palo, I'd imagine. <laughs> Nah. Oh, uh, examine. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Untitled composition in gold and diamond. This newest addition to our public works of art was shamefully taken without authorization. <laughs> so they put a plaque next to, uh, Elaine's statue and then, uh, the pirates from Danger Cove came by and took it. All right. <clears throat> Where was this glue? I, I know it's around here somewhere. Mm, not in here. Huh. I didn't see it in the feeder. And it's not in Jar Combs. Hairstyling book, Agus. Okay, no, it's not in here. Hmm. I can't quite remember where it is. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna have to figure that part out. Um, all right, well, that's actually not that bad of a place to stop, actually, so let's call it here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and check me out at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. And until next week, I'll see you folks later. Take care. Bye-bye.